Texas. I have come here today to bear the tribute of the nation to you on your 100th birthday, for you are 100 years young. And what a birthday party. A huge $25 million exposition in Dallas with all Texas playing host. 200 acres of magnificent buildings, a new city, a great city, a city of a thousand sights and a thousand wonders. Small wonder then that the whole nation is talking about this big Texas exposition. The design of the buildings is distinctively southwestern, a dramatic combination of modern architecture and the simple beauty of the old world. The motive is carried throughout, even to the final touch of stately statues, brilliant fountains, and striking mural decorations. But there go the crowd, rushing to see this tremendous spectacle at the rate of more than 50,000 a day. It's a long trek to see all the sights, and you'll need a cane. Well, here's how to get one. The man with the scales bets he can guess your weight. And if he misses, the cane is yours. 362 pounds. Now watch it. Let's see. Hey, there goes the winner right now. Look at him. My golly. Here you are, Sheriff. Help yourself. <laughs> but let's be on with the crowd. They're headed to the House of Magic, a great attraction in the buried industries building. Here in their own little theater, the House of Magic demonstrates many things. Light that can be heard as well as seen, and sound that can be seen as well as heard. Magic is right. Now watch closely and the man will demonstrate a scientific way to pop popcorn. Radio waves do the job between two jars of cold water. Step right up, folks, popcorn, five a bag. And hamburgers a dime on the outside with cold drinks just a nickel. What a pair. Therefore now, the deputy rangerettes are liable to pick you up for a demonstration of early Texas justice at Judge Bean's law west of the Pecos. This victim happens to be Governor Lesh of Louisiana. Uh, we'll set to a guilty plea, and there's a fitting punishment I sentence you to return to the state of Louisiana and take your legislative body with you and uh, fulfill the programs of your administration. I bow to the majesty of the court. <laughs> and right next door, more law and order. The Texas Rangers, famous old ranger Captain Hughes, raises the flag, the lone star flag of Texas. A square dance on horseback, sure enough it is. All of which goes to show that this $25 million exposition also has plenty of four-legged performers on the ground. For instance, an old-time Texas Longhorn for you all, a more modern one, Will Rogers steps steer, Big Jim. Wow, look at these four-legged critters. Oh, just a couple of dinosaurs that roamed Texas millions of years ago. Meet that nightmare on the right. He's called mince pie. Anything fishy here? Why, yes, it's the aquarium. And take a look at these, the spoonbill catfish. Imagine trying to spoon with that bill. <laughs> Let's take a look across the beautiful lagoon. Across the way, there are many splendid buildings, including two fine museums and a striking replica of the Catholic mission. Not far distant is the Hall of Religion. And then dominating the entire ground is the tall federal building, where Uncle Sam has his own exhibits for the folks. Crowds fill this building each day to see the scores of interesting displays. For instance, here is the Department of Labor's mechanical man, the latest improvement on Frankenstein. He moves, he talks, in fact, he can do anything except uh, vote the Republican ticket. We flash to one of the huge exhibit halls lined with many fascinating displays. These various automotive exhibits show some of the many uses for Texas products. A dozen different sidelights on the making of a car. And here's a finished automobile for you. Only it has a few extra trick gadgets to jump out and explain things. <laughs> if only it had a sign to jump out when a woman driver wants to make a left turn. Oh, oh Junior, don't bring Dad along when you go to this exhibit, or you'll never have a chance to see it yourself. Now, would you just look at all those grown-ups down there crowding out the kitty? Incidentally, folks, this is one fair where you can spend the whole day on the ground, never have an idle moment, and yet never spend a nickel if you don't want to. 
Here is one of the free attractions in one of the many air-conditioned buildings on the ground. Cool and entertaining, and it doesn't cost a penny. At the organ, Merle Clark. the Chinese village, or possibly just a little static from the exposition radio studio. Or it might even be the squeak of the old mill wheel as it grinds flour at this quaint little exhibit here. Hey, look at this. Fruit-bearing citrus trees transplanted 600 miles from the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, come on over for breakfast, will you? And here's another importation from either farther south than the Rio Grande. Jose Manzanera and his South Americans. Entertainment means the Midway. Let's go, the Midway. We're on the Midway. Pretty girls, funny shows, thrilling rides. Step right up and step in. Here's a real thrill for you, the Rocket Speedway. This is the first American appearance of this new ride. It's imported from England, you know. Jelly old England, but be careful there, you drop your hatches. What? Here goes the rocket ship at a terrific rate, swinging almost upside down. Zoom! Watch that curve. And here's another place to watch the curve. A whole shipload of entertainment at the streets of Paris. Plenty of curves, all right, yeah. Here are a dozen shows in one show, with cafes and all kinds of entertainment also on board. Oh, boy, this is one way to see Paris without a passport. Wee oui, wee. Oui. How do you like the mademoiselle, huh? Très bien, huh? And in just a moment, we'll meet the only woman ballyhoo artist in captivity, Paris Peggy. I oh, want you people please be kind enough to step right down the platform. Step right up. I'm not going to bind you. If I bind you, you can bite me back. Now, this show is so artistic that it is not being run for pecuniary gain. Now, we appear here in television, ladies and gentlemen. Your artistic sense and your 25 cents. Here's the payback, and the show begins immediately. All right, up close, everybody, so you can see what it's all about. Right up close. Hey, now, ladies and gentlemen, I know that every one of you standing out there have already read in your papers or your magazines of this time about the little girl you see standing right here. None other than that sensational dancer, flaming famous. You don't say. What's uh, uh, this, another pinch? Oh, we're in Midget City now, and we'd better do as the little people say. You know, there are more than a hundred midgets all living here in Midget City. Just look at them. And here's the showboat, where the villain still pursues her. <laughs> So much for old childhood. Now let's find something more diverting. This looks like the spot for the streets of all nations. Did someone make a remark about the Dallas Exposition being all education and no entertainment? Oh, well, not from the looks of this. If we stick around, we can catch a glimpse of Mademoiselle Corrine, the apple dancer. Now watch closely, the apple dancer. Oh, 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 apple sauce. Well, sorry, folks, you see the film's improbable. Maybe we'd better head for the Black Forest and cool off. Now here's a welcome retreat for you. A charming, inviting winter scene in the Black Forest with ice skaters on even the hottest days of the year.
the Texas Centennial Exposition at its best, see it at night. A thrilling, spectacular display of colorful lights you will never forget. Here's what one visitor has to say. This great Centennial Exposition is not for Texas alone. It is for the people of all the other 47 states as well. And I hope and I believe that they will take full advantage of it. 